All right, so there's not as much light over here as I expected. <laughs> um, so I decided, since I've talked to uh, a handful of people today about making lightsaber blades for your Black Series figures, uh, these were my first attempts. Um, of custom lightsabers and the blades themselves. These were just toothpicks. Uh, a lot of people liked them. <laughs> um, a lot of, some people didn't even realize that they were just toothpicks. Um, so they're not transparent. They're not you know, see-through or anything. But those are all hopefully focuses. I'm not sure. This is my first live video, first tutorial. Um, there's probably nobody in the live chat. I'm doing everything live just so it goes up on YouTube. Uh, so it's there. People can see it. I don't have to edit anything. Um, I'm working with one camera tonight because this was kind of prop to. Um, but I just want to shout out to Rocco the Great for telling people that I'm going live. Um, and also getting me back into diorama building and action figures and everything else. That's why that's why the one reason these figures are out here on the shelf. Uh, there's a reason there's uh, a couple of dioramas behind me. Uh, I'll be doing videos on those too. But that's not what you're here for. Uh, you're here for the lightsaber uh, blade tutorial. I have sent this link to a bunch of people today. I don't know how many people. Um, but I ordered Plastruct. Plastruct. Um, they're 1 16th or uh, 1.6 millimeter clear acrylic rods. There's 40 pieces in here. Um, we got these on Amazon. They were $8, I believe. Um, these are what we're going to be making lightsaber blades out of today and I am out of focus because I don't know what I'm doing I don't know if there's a way to fix it that's obnoxious I'm sorry about that but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the custom lightsabers uh, the ones I've shown um, I'll probably do a video on these too um, but I Saw someone make Ray's lightsaber from the end of um, the, La the Rise of Skywalker, or is that what it was called. Yeah, um, they took Ray's staff and they cut it up. They cut this piece off to show to make her saber from the very end of the movie. Um, so today we're going to be making a new blade for this and a couple other colors. Um, according to the novelization, apparently this isn't yellow, it's gold. Um, or we'll be making a yellow one. Um, and on these, I'm not sure what size drill bit I used. But um, since these are a sixteenth of an inch, I'll be using a sixteenth inch drill bit to make sure that these fit into the custom lightsabers. And I'll also show you how to make them fit the actual figure lightsabers that they cut the lightsabers that come with the figures. Actually, let's see if, uh, if I can drill this out to a 16 and we don't have to do anything special. Uh, once again, sorry, I'm dealing with one, just one camera, but I'll do my best. Ooh, I don't know. Slowly. <laughs> and I'm sure this isn't the smartest way to do this. I should probably have a vice or something. And more light. More light would help for sure.
Okay. Um, <clears throat> that should work. I don't know what size it's. Those come. This one looked like it was melted. I may have messed around with this one a little bit. Um, so these could fit. Actually, I've got some figures behind me. We'll we'll test them first. Um, we'll see if this fits into the lightsaber to begin with. Okay. We had to take Ray. That is the hilt that came with Maz. Um, I don't know. You might be able to see up there what I did with the Maz figure, but I'll be doing a video on that too. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos. I'm not going to do reviews and stuff because everyone does reviews, but uh, let's see if the this, these fit in here. Um, you can kind of force it in. There we go. So they do fit without any drilling. Um, so that last part is kind of unnecessary. The power tools are fun. So if you need to, you can drill it. Uh, remember, it's 1 16th. Uh, it's a small drill bit. Be careful. They break really easy. I've broken plenty of them. Uh, just a little, just to point out something, the Plastistruck or Plastruck acrylic is slightly thinner than the actual lightsaber. And you can cut this stuff with a good pair of scissors. These are kitchen shears. I think these work. Um, I'm going to cut it the same length as the blade that came out of Ray's saber to begin with. So there we are. Um, I haven't perfected this next part, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway. Uh, a lighter just to round the tip of this. I know it's really hard to see because it's clear and there's no light over here. Um, but you can see it's kind of squared off because it's just cut it. Um, so I'm just going to heat it just a little bit. Just enough for it to start to... Just enough to melt it so it's not exactly square anymore. It's not very round either. Um, then the cool thing about these are, um, since they're clear and since they come in a pack of 40, uh, one, you'll be able to get any color you want by using a Sharpie and I'll show you what that looks like. Hopefully that comes across on camera and two, it looks like you should be able to get, um, three, give or take three blades out of one acrylic rod. Um, so that's, that's quite a bit for $8. Um, yeah, I'm using a calculator because I'm terrible at math. So there's 40 of those, you'll get three. So that's 120 lightsaber blades you can get for $8 and a little bit of work. We're at eight minutes. I've been talking way too much and we've almost got one finished. Uh, like I said, we're going to do yellow uh, for the end of Rise of Skywalker. Uh, and anyone who paints or does any other kind of other art, uh, you know, yellow is kind of a pain to deal with. Um, I'm teaching one of my one of my friends to paint uh, miniatures and stuff right now, and. Uh, He's learning that yellow is a pain to deal with. <laughs> I was reminded the other day because I made a shipping barrel, a cargo barrel for one of my dioramas, and I wanted to paint it yellow. I don't think I'm going to do anything else in yellow anymore. Um, see, this is... It's definitely yellow. Um, let me go ahead and put it down and color it too. Um, but you'll definitely want to go all the way, get all the sides of it. Uh, cause you'll be able to see it if you look closely, if you miss a spot. Um, but there. Oh, it does show up on the camera. 
Cool. Um, let me grab a light. I'm not going to shine into the camera because I don't want to blind anybody. But here, this will... You can see that it's definitely yellow. Definitely still transparent, which is one of the great things about Sharpies and clear stuff like this acrylic rod and uh, hot glue. Um, you can color it with Sharpie and it stays clear. Um, I did kind of go over it twice. I'm not sure if it's completely dry. I probably shouldn't handle it yet. But just to show it in the saber hilt itself. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. You can see the, the yellow rod. Um, and then since they're clear, they're hard to find. Um, what do I do with it? I don't know. It's around here somewhere. Um, I was going to do another color. Um, you know what? Guys, what do I do with it? There's no one in here, so no one can answer. Where'd it go? That's all right. I will find another one. Uh, one of my other uh, ideas before we make one more. Um, God, I'm so f out of focus. I'm so fuzzy. Um, I don't know how to focus this camera yet. First time using the camera. First time doing a tutorial. First time going live on YouTube. Um, yeah. Here is one of my other ideas. It's kind of bent. Um, but it, it it's fitting because I melted one end and I kind of pulled it to make it fit. Another, here's the light. It's not quite as transparent as the other ones, but it is it is transparent. It is, and that's a piece of PLA, uh, the stuff uh, 3D printers use to print. It's a transparent green. Uh, that's another thing you can do if you have a 3D printer and you and you have transparent filament uh, you can use that as well. Uh, that would work. Let's go ahead and grab another piece since I lost the other one. See, so we'll cut this to fit. Cut it to size. Go ahead and do two more. Those are the only colors I brought with me. This is not where I normally do my my crafting. I'm in the I'm actually out in my living room right now. I have a crafting area set up, but uh, it's a little too messy to do this video. I wanted to get it out tonight. Uh, once again, we have the lightsaber blades cut to size. They're clear right now. Um, melt them just enough for them to not be square if you melt them for too long um they'll start to kind of um round over which the yellow one did a little bit i'll try to show it i'm not sure if that's going to show up on camera or not because it's it only did it slightly this one did it some If you look, I don't, I don't think it's even going to pick it up because uh, it's clear. But it kind of goes over more so than just being a rounded tip. You could probably sand it, um, but I'm not too worried about it. It looks fine. Uh, if someone's that close to my figures, um, they should probably back up. <laughs> Now, once again, I'm just coloring with a Sharpie. Um, so I'm doing blue. Um, I just realized the other day that I have a ton of Sharpies, but none of them are like base colors. They're all like a shade darker or a shade lighter than base color. So this is kind of like a sky blue. 
Uh, it's going to give us a, a lighter blue uh, saber blade. Closer to the one that was in her lightsaber to begin with. Here we go again with the light. Um, showing the it's blue. It's translucent. Go ahead and put that one down to dry. I'll do another do a green one. And what I found with the red is you have to go over it uh, multiple times uh, so it doesn't look pink. Uh, but that's okay because once it dries, you can go over it again. Um, to get it darker. Um, some oranges look better as red, they look more red than the actual red marker does. I don't have a fresh red Sharpie, so maybe a brand new one would work better and wouldn't look so pink. But if you find like a darker orange Sharpie, um, that'll work. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Um, I'm almost done here. Uh, I'm just going to show you the color of this one in. Um, just going to show this is a using a like a neon green color. Uh, let's see, if that's it's hard to tell, but I'm happy with the color. It looks really good. Um, so there's that one. All right, so it's been 16 minutes. I've made three lightsaber blades, and I've talked way too much. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you made it this far, I mean, you already saw I'd make one. I made three. Uh, so thanks for sticking around. Um, follow here on YouTube, Brian XL, and I'm also Brian XL on Instagram. And because of Rocco the Great and a couple other people, uh, I've decided to really go in hard with the YouTube and the Instagram, with the action figure stuff. Because uh, it's my happy place. This is what I like to do. I like building. I like building the dioramas. Um, I like customizing figures. There's a custom up there. There's custom right over my shoulder. Uh, I want to do a lot more with that. So, uh, yeah, stick around. Uh Thanks for the inspiration, and uh, yeah, click like, subscribe, all that good stuff, please. Uh, that'd be cool. Uh, I switch windows on myself. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Yeah. I've... Oh, it's not over yet. I haven't clicked end. Yeah, this is uh, brand new. Done Facebook live streams, never YouTube. I could just end it. Just click this end button right here. All right. Bye, guys.